So hey everybody, this is James Outlaw Frags. We are back again to talk about a house that we are both pretty impressed with. Yeah. So stay tuned and we're going to get right into it. So what we're going to talk about today is both of our experiences with Sin Obsessions and their version of Aventus Cologne. Cologne. Yes. So, Ali, what do you think of it? Well, I had purchased this uh, locally. It's from the Aventus Cologne, brand new. Yeah. Just out. Um, I'll start with the price. This was twenty-eight dollars for this decant. So yeah, for your five mil. Little little guy, and. Um, so I decided to wear it, and I was telling you I was going to wear it, and you were like, okay, well then... Yeah, do a side-by-side. -side. Do a side-by-side. -side. So, uh, all right. I did, never smelled Essential Obsession before, um, but this is their version of a Venice Cologne. And right out of the gate, I have to say, I, I wore this as the actual scent of the day. I mm -hmm. wore this for test purposes on my left hand, and a Venice Cologne on my right, just so I could compare them throughout the day. On initial spray, I have to say, I was shocked by Sensual Obsessions. Yeah, because so I. It, it, I could see a Venice Cologne over here, but when I sprayed Sensual Obsessions, it literally... Yeah, the oil content is super high. Oil just was soaking, and I'm thinking, my God, this is going to be like a 12-hour beast that I'm going to have to scrub off. Would be nice if it did last 12 hours. And, uh, yeah, but as the day went on, um, they, they both... Did really good to about the four hour mark and and this one was lighter on on application this one was lighter than the original mm -hmm. but they stayed with each other pretty much through the transition um, this one I have to say when I first sprayed it I had like um, I don't know four people five people there and they were smelling they all agreed this one smelled better it was more natural it was um, you know a better product but at the same time they liked the way this one smelled it was just a lighter toned down version if yeah you know. i will say that this is they're both really light to start out with this is a super light um composition and this is as well and even lighter yeah but it's not such it doesn't come across it didn't read to me as like a watered down version mm -hmm. um I am like you. I've worn both of these. Well, not your decant. I have a carded sample. I've worn them both a couple of times. And uh, I get about four hours of longevity. And when I talk about longevity is when I could still, if I raise my hand and I could smell it. If I'm digging my nose into my hand, to me, that's, it's beyond gone. It's just gone. And at the six hour mark, that's what I was doing. Yeah, it's really it, digging. It was gone at the six hour whereas this was still kind of hanging around i had just walked in the back door and i had someone following with me and dang you still smell good and it was like so i knew it was this guy because this one was already gone already and not. that was my son of the day so yeah and on on application uh one and a half two arms like the projection on this one i would assume roughly the same maybe a little bit lower for this one because yeah I that's about that what i got one, you know the the full wearing so um I was shocked that they stayed so close. The one funny thing, which is not a note, this is supposed to be like a woody, musky, you know, balsamic, leathery type scent, right? Yeah. And uh, somewhere around that four hour mark, everyone that I said, hey, smell this and what do you get? They all were saying amber. Yeah, amber but it is not a note. And it's not in here. What it's they're so picking up weird. is the must that we were talking right. about, you know? And then everybody, smells things different and then not everybody has the the what would you say the nose the nose and the vocabulary to express what they're smelling you know right just like me i'm, a, I'm an inexperienced nose compared to you you can break the stuff apart um, i can tell you however that for the 28 dollars for this and 400 dollars for the full size 480 dollars full retail at a boutique from creed two ounces of this is 30 dollars two ounces yeah i think i would be happy with this and reapplying at lunchtime yeah me too and to me they smell 
Man, if, if I had to see how close together these are, I'd probably have to say just like I did in my last video, man, they are super, super close. You know, I stated before I never understood why Creed did this because Aventus has gotten so watered down right. to do this, but I actually, I like it. They took out the pineapple. Well, and, the fruits aren't in this. Yeah, one, there's really. no pineapple in the top, and then they took out the ambergris that was in the base, and that is what you get when you have uh, Aventus cologne. But other than that, all the rest of the notes are the same. Right. Yeah, I, I, I got to say I was impressed. These They both followed suit with each other. Just, this is just a lighter version, and yeah. I would say you're hitting that 85 90%. Yeah, easily. Easy. You, there's, it's just lighter. If you could just dial it back. And I don't want to say, like we were talking about, it's not like a watered down. Yeah. Bat. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They were, just, they were right next to each other. It's just lighter, and this, everyone was saying was a better... Yeah, when you put them side you know, by maybe side, because they're spending four hundred dollars for this, yeah. you know, um, I didn't tell them the prices. I didn't let them know even what it was that we had. I was just letting them smell, smell it. it, and uh, every time, by the time that we were done, you know, at the end of the day, I must have had like six, eight different people at work. They're all coming and they wanted to the smell, smell it because they were talking to each other. And uh, this thing at the end was still out there, still projecting. The original was, was still out there. So the purists out there, you get what you pay for. Well, Let, let's, oh, let's, I'm going to say that. But, <laughs> but let's say it this way. If you're spending $480, you darn, about, darn better produce quality stuff that's, you know, compared to a $30. Yeah, but no, I get that. The, penny the, pinchers, those that watch their money, those that can't afford something like this, you can't go wrong with this. This yeah, is a even great if, product. Yeah, because even if you had 480 bucks and you went out and bought mm -hmm. this, that still smells 95% close to, you know, the $480 yeah. original fragrance. To me, it's just it's it's a no-brainer. I would never it's spend 480 bucks for this because it even though it smells really good and Creed is known for using really good raw materials. To me, four hundred and eighty bucks for this is is eye gouging. Maybe on the gray market, I don't know. I don't know if do do the creeds thing make it into the gray market? Yeah, I've seen this go for a partial bottle. That's probably I think the last one I saw had like eighty percent left, and they wanted uh, about two hundred fifty bucks for it. Okay. But even then, I I just that's so far. I'm not spending. Two hundred dollars on a fragrance. I don't care. What Bam! That's a yeah. lot of cash <laughs> That's to a lot come of cash. out when you think about it. And you're but this, on the other hand, I would buy all day long. Right. This smells good. You know, four hours reapply it. Throw this in your pocket, or travel decant. You know, it smells great. And and they have other ones. Yeah. Um, and that's what we're going to talk about next. When I did the other video where I explored four of the other scents. Everybody was kind enough, they really replied saying, hey, you need to take a look at Andy Warhol. So, we have Andy Warhol to do a first impression, and then... What we don't have is the original. No, I don't have the original. And we have Tuxedo. Everybody said, check out Tuxedo. I'm familiar with this scent. I do not From have the original, so. but I'm familiar with it. And last but not least, and this is one thing that was kind of trippy to me, is to see a actual clone of a designer. I could see doing a... Yeah, but one million... This is one million lucky. Still isn't one, that expensive. One million lucky, though, is a very popular yes. scent. So I think like your popular ones, like one million, your Sauvages. You think so? You know, well, especially look at Sauvage's prices right now. Yeah, that like, doesn't come down ever. They're, they're not like Paco Rabanne, where they're so, somewhat still affordable. They just seem to keep getting up there more and more and more. So we are going to start out by taking a sniff of their version of One Million Lucky. There is their version. And then, okay, now I have to be completely honest. I do not own any of these, the originals. I, I don't even think I've smelled any of them. This is the original for um, Lucky. Because he told me he was going to send this, so I went and got a sample of the original. From Dillard? Um, Sephora. Sephora and JCPenney's. Hmm. 
don't know what to think. What is your reaction? I don't know. Here. This is the original? Okay. Yeah. And this one, the original smells a lot um, uplifted. Does that make sense? Yeah, like it's lighter, lighter, brighter. like a airier. But for I mean, they're both. Lucky is not known to be a really heavy scent. In most people, it's considered a gourmand because it has hazelnut as one of the nut, one of the notes. But to me, every time I've smelt it, it has come across super light, almost to where, it, to my nose, it's not there. Yeah, is Lucky one of those that also change on your skin? Um, a lot it, of these lighter ones, they always compare and say, "Is the, that it, is that this linear or not?" You know, I can't tell you about the original because it's one of the few pocket rebonds. There's a bunch of them over there that I don't have because when I very first smelt this, when it was first released, I went to, um, I want to say Macy's in Arizona and I smelled it and I was so underwhelmed because that's super light, isn't it? Yeah. It's and, and that's, I think, light. where I'm having my problem. Is they're so light, you're like, you, where is it? <laughs> how do you even distinguish between them? Because it's such a light profile for it, you know. Uh, and I don't, scent. I don't own either of these, so I, I, it's strictly a first impression for me. Well, here we'll do I, this. I think. Do they smell close? Yeah. Yeah, they smell really close because it's super light. Would I go and buy a bottle of One Million Lucky? Probably, I don't think so. And I'm a huge fan of the Papa Now, now that I've smelled them, I wouldn't. I will say that this is really, really close. How, what would you say, percentage-wise? Oh, I don't know. They're, they're both light. They're both, they smell alike. 85, 90, what do you think? I'll, I'll give it an 85. Yeah, I think so. 85, 90%. This, There's like this. I said, the original opened up a little more. Had a little more to it. I, let's say brighter. But, yeah, but I'll, it's I'll gone. Say a little bit brighter. It's but gone. now. A couple of minutes, it's gone. The, <laughs> it's, it's weird. Yeah, it's, it really it's, is. It's a that's weird a strange scent. scent. Yep. So I'm glad I got to experience that because I've always, in, in collecting, it's like, oh, I got to get the one million. Well, now they're talking about one million lucky. Oh, now they're talking yep. about one million prebe. And it's like, I don't know. Is it because it's in the little tiny five mil? I don't think so because no, we get not. these all the time. Yeah. It's just that that scent is super, super light. See, and it smells different from. Yeah, off the atomizer. Yeah, if you. Yeah, it's got a little bit more. It's a little bit more robust. Is, is that what I'm smoky? Thinking. What is is what's behind that? There is some woods in the base, but the main player in that is actually a hazelnut. That's amazing. But I don't. Hazelnut? Yeah, but I don't get a kind of a creamy not, hazelnut type of scent from that at all. So wow, that's, that's that's another that's weird. one. I, I okay. For you know, a newbie knows. I would say I I don't like it. I, yeah, I wouldn't go purchase this one. But you and know, it's, everyone's taste is different, so yeah. there's someone out there that that could be their signature scent. And but. the nice thing about this is, even though this isn't for me and you, it still smells close enough mm -hmm. to the original that I couldn't tell apart. And I believe this one's only twenty five for a two ounce. Yeah, it's a little less expensive. I think I think that's the way it goes. You know, your designers are you know. 25 and your your niche are like 30 or somewhere in there, but you can always check their website now This is his expression of tuxedo and I really like this I've smelt the original now that opens nice. Yeah, it's got a little bit of spice to it I really like this. I've smelt the original once before and then I have a bottle of Genres version of tuxedo as well and they sell smell really similar. This is on something that I really enjoy and uh, I would pick up a full size bottle of this for me for my collection. Yeah, I like it enough to where that is. I've definitely never smelled one. the original, but this one's pretty good. Yeah. I was I, really I give shocked. That a thumbs up. Yep. And yeah. I'm not saying this is this fault because I'm talking about Lucky too when I said I. Yeah, the I, scent itself is the, just not for yeah, me. Yeah, the scent profile I really don't like. And the last one we got to look at here that he sent me is his version of Andy Warhol. And this is another one. Yeah, that does smell. This is the one that Bond number nine had the lawsuit. Yeah, and they had they to take his image off. Weren't allowed bottle. to use his image or his name. Um, but it, it was actually a killer scent, and yep. so now 
that's the thing about like these clone houses are now they're capturing what they can't do. Well, bond number nine still produces the scent. They just put it in a different bottle. Yeah, this is really, really good. This is one that uh, I had more than one comment saying, hey, I really need to check this one out from this house. And I can see why, because this is really, really good. I really like this. As a synth on its own, like I said, I've never smelled the original, but I can only judge this. I really like the way this smells. That is nice. Yeah. I mean, I. we were talking about bottle sizes. I think this bottle size alone would be a great bottle size for my collection now. Yeah. And what is this, a half ounce? Yeah, it's a half ounce, this which is, is perfect is size nice. for me. I really like these. I like that. Um, I'm gonna have to check in on getting me one of those because that one's really nice. Yeah, it's a totally worth this the one. I, I wish I had the original to be able to base off of, but that's a really good one. We do have the original, and uh, yeah, this one, one they're real close pass. to each other. It's just for me personally, I'm, I'm saying pass yeah. on the scent itself, so, not not the actual product. So, so we wanted to bring these to everybody and, and share because these just showed up and give you guys a first impression of what we think and then an update to this which is the Adventist Cologne Cologne Boy, that's a mouthful isn't it? Adventist Cologne Cologne, cologne. and uh, but that's a go yes that is a total go I'm, I'm saying thumbs up if you like Adventist Cologne and you want a cologne for your cologne um, that's the that's one. That's the one to do it, yeah. I've, and of course, that's the only one that I had to compare. But I say it's a thumbs up. Yeah, you and I agree. You can't totally. go wrong. Well, all right. With all that being said, remember there is no bad time to... Smell good. And all this stuff in front of us smells good. So we'll catch you on the next video.